that I do a little walk through uh, an area of Bristol that I know. Um, this is up near uh, Clifton, uh, which is in the north of Bristol where I live, the city where I'm living. So uh, up there is Christchurch, Clifton, and uh, just walking through some of the side streets, quite big and lovely houses and some beautiful gardens as well. So uh, I don't often get up this part of the city. Um, it's quite far from the area of the city where I live um, and quite different. So much uh, generally wealthier and um, uh, yeah, quite a contrast really to some of the bits of the city. So um, yeah, sometimes um, we find that uh, depending on the circumstance which we're um, born into or the circumstances of our life and the way things go, we find we may be in a position of wealth and influence and other times we might be in a position where we feel we don't have that and uh, I was watching a little video that a friend sent round this morning which was um, from a place called Burnley in the north of England and uh, amazing uh, ministers who were involved with uh, supporting that community in different ways and um, how they were uh, helping those who were uh, really in very difficult times and a lot of people were desperate, feeling very desperate uh, in the midst of all the issues around COVID, in the midst of all the issues around um, poverty and uh, deprivation and so sometimes we can feel um, you know that our circumstances are bringing us into a position where we can make a great difference to others and a, a lovely friend of mine was talking this morning just sharing his story he grew up in a, a family with quite a lot of influence and wealth and uh has very very privileged upbringing in some ways you know um, compared to many and yet he felt God called him to really use that opportunity that he had rather than going for the safe route going to you know become a successful accountant and do to uh do what would have been quite a secure and comfortable uh lifestyle already in lots of ways he he chose to say okay well I'm here for a purpose for a reason it's not just for myself, but it's for others. And um, it's quite quite good for us to sometimes be aware of the influence that we might have, the opportunities we might have as well. And it might be for a reason, it might be for a purpose. Um, Paul says, not many of you were, were high born, not many of you were, uh, you know, were, who were in a position of, of uh, the status of influence. Um, God chose the weak things of the world to shame the strong, and so on. So we sometimes find that we we are giving ourselves a, an opportunity as well to make a difference to others, to to serve other people, and to uh, make a change in their lives. And or maybe you're in a position where you were, were born in difficult circumstances some of my friends you know their background their early lives were really tough ended up in drug addiction ended up in in uh, real difficulties and uh, n n not sort of privileged you know ending up uh, using drugs and uh, getting involved with crime and all sorts of negative stuff happened but God's turned their lives around and now some of them are radically different a lovely dear uh, friend has uh, just recently been ordained as a uh, Elim minister and uh, her background was pretty pretty grim really in lots of ways and uh, as a result you know ended up on the streets in prostitution and all sorts of stuff and but actually God turned her life around for good and so you know Whatever your background is, whether it's whether it feels like it's a great privileged one, whether it's um, one that that, that isn't, um, 
you know, what opportunities does that allow you? What opportunities does that allow you and it give you a chance to make a difference in? So maybe God's given you a great purpose. I'm just walking through some buildings here. This is uh, some of the buildings of Clifton College, which is a very uh, prestigious um, establishment and lots of lots of people um, uh, you know, given a, a, a pretty outstanding um, education here. So maybe God's given you a position in birth. Maybe God's given you opportunity. Maybe you've had a really good education. Maybe you've had um, a chance to do things that other people haven't done. And how does God want to use you in that? And maybe you've had one of those stories that, you know, is a dramatic conversion from from death to life, from uh, from from poverty and uh, insignificance and, you know, tough upbringing. Uh, maybe God wants to use that as an opportunity for you to shine and demonstrate how God can turn people around, how people can be changed and transformed for his glory. So take the opportunity that God's given you. All right, many blessings. Bye for now.